Hi, so in this example, we're going to look at scanning a tool. Um, so I'm going to run it to a sequence and it's looking for a 50 foot pound torque wrench. Uh, I have two tool codes set up here. This first one's going to be wrong. Uh, so that will say it's the incorrect tool. Uh, now I've got a tool number for a 50 foot pound wrench and that passes. And then in my results, it's recorded a tool code and then its description, which is a 50 foot pound. And so that just shows how we can do a lookup for a, a tool code and then match it to a keyword in its description. So I'll just show you how I've set up that now. So in that example, I'll just open up the sequence I ran which was called Tescal, uh, Test Scan Tool. Uh, so we've added a new step to Tascus. It's called Scan a Tool. Uh, it's under the data entry steps, just right under Scan Part. Um, and how it works, uh, it, can use, it uses a combination of searching for a keyword and using tools that are linked to a workstation. Uh, so the point of this is you don't have to hard code in a specific tool code. So if we're talking uh, torque wrenches, if you've got uh, 10 different torque wrenches, uh, all 50 pounds, all attached to different workstations, you wouldn't want to put in an assembly sequence. Use this specific tool number uh, because there might be multiple, there might be 10 different ones and a different one gets used on each workstation. You would just want to make sure that at the workstation they use the 50 foot pound torque wrench on that workstation. So that's how this is set up. It's searching for a description in the tool that's once it's been configured in Tascus that says 50 foot pound and that checkbox means that it's only allowing uh, tools that are linked to the workstation in Tascus and it tells you here that you set up in settings station station ID so that's how to configure the step let's just go and look at that those settings to check the other part of it right now so I've moved to settings now uh, and the key thing is that you set the station ID and in here I've set it to the 615 hone and if we have a look down here, that works because I've configured two different torque wrench tools, a 615 T1 and a 615 T2. Now my T1 is, a is set up as a 50 foot pound torque wrench. My T2 is set up as a 60 foot pound torque wrench. So when I ran the sequence, I first off scanned the T2 and that failed. That's because the description didn't match uh, 50 foot pounds and then I scanned the T1 barcode uh, and that did match with 50 foot pounds so that passed because it was connected to the 615 home station these tools came up and it then matched the 50 foot pound description so that's how you go about configuring attach, attach a tool to a station give it a reference number and a description. If you take that reference number and, and apply a label to the tool with that in the barcode, with that reference in the barcode, when you come to the step, when it scans the barcode that contains that reference, Tascus will then look up, search within the tool description for a keyword that you've put in your step. And in this example, it will have uh, retrieved both of these tools, the T1 and T2, that were connected to this station. Uh, and then it checks if, if once it's found a match, it then checks in the description of that tool to see if it can find that keyword that it's looking for. So that's how you go about setting up a scan tool step.